Okay, going to do a video here on how to diagnose uh, network issues, or at least um, basic networking issues, with uh, Windows XP. Um, this is for scenarios where you just can't connect to the internet, uh, or you're unable to connect to your local network. Um, this will give you some things to actually test out, check out. Um, the audio on this will be a little bit weird because I am actually using a laptop um, to do this so I can show you some wireless things as well. Um, first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your control panel. Um, if you're using a laptop uh, you will have at least two different network cards um, a wireless card and a um, wired card. I'm trying to find my network connections there it is. Uh, go under network connections and you should see the two different connections there. Um, if you are uh, physically plugging a cable into your computer um, to connect to the internet uh, this is one of the first places you want to check. Uh, if you see the wire connection and you see that the network cable is unplugged uh, make sure your cable is firmly seated into the computer and check the other end make sure it's firmly connected to your router um, try playing with the cable a little bit, um, picking it up, twisting it a little bit, see if that um, status here actually changes because as you do it, you will see that status actually change. Um, if you are connected to a wireless network um, and you see that it's not connected, um, go ahead and make sure that your wireless settings are correct. Uh, you can work on this, um, any of the um, local area connections or wireless connections. Um, in this case, we're going to do wireless. We're going to do view wireless, and you should see that connected there. If you see that's connected in here, but the uh, actual wireless icon in network connections is not connected, that means you have a bad uh, password. If you put a password, it's accepting it, but it's not the correct one. Um, verify that you are indeed putting in your correct. Um, password for that. Um, also, another thing is keep an eye on your signal strength here. Um, you know, you have this refresh button. Refresh that a couple times. See if that signal strength varies. Um, if it's you know showing a full signal one minute, and then you refresh it, you know, a couple seconds later, and it's dropped down, you could have either a bad um, router, wireless access point your wireless card in your computer or there could be something that's actually getting in the way of your signal. Um, try getting actually close to the access point, you know, pretty much in the same room, about probably 10 feet away, something like that. You should be expecting to see a full signal there. Um, so that's actually connected there. And it's showing connected in network connections and you got the connected icon down here chances are you're probably fine on the actual password for a wireless and everything but you still find you cannot connect to your um, internet or local systems go ahead and go to your properties you know, right click on your icon there go to properties and this is going to bring up a variety of settings um, the one we want to look at is TCP IP you want to click on that, hit properties. For most people, your configuration is going to be um, a DHCP server. Your router is going to act as that, uh, or another computer on your network is going to be acting as that. Um, you want to make sure that obtain IP address automatically and DNS is automatic as well. Um, if you do have a static IP address, chances are you're not going to be watching this video. <laughs> because um, then you would actually have already configured that in here uh, as to what your IP address would be. But um, for most people, you're going to be on dynamic, so go ahead and put it on dynamic. Otherwise, check your IP address settings on uh, what those should be. And let's see. If you're having trouble finding files, printers, whatnot um, on your network, Make sure file and printer sharing is checked. Um, if it's not checked, it will not be used on that network card. Um, 
other things also as well. If you use wireless, go under wireless networks, uh, you will see a list of all um, wireless networks that you've connected to in the past and present. Make sure that uh, any of the ones that show up in here are not ones that are available to you at the moment. Because what will happen is like, let's say this links this here. Um, if there's another wireless right around me called Linksys, it would switch between my current connection and that Linksys. Um, it's going to basically do that depending on whichever it sees as the better signal. Uh, this will cause your internet connection or network connection to drop, and sometimes once you're onto another network, you're not going to be able to access things that are on your network. That's to be expected. Um, I recommend going through tree clearing out this entire list of stuff um, from time to time, um, just keeping the ones that you actually use. And the next most common thing is I've found that some people will have their uh, network card disabled. Um, if a network card is disabled, um, you'll see the icon itself will be kind of grayed out and the that's incorrect. Um, I was looking at this like kind of at the bottom right so um, I'll go ahead and see what my local connection so you can see that see how it's grayed out if you right click on it you'll have the enable option uh, go ahead and make sure they're both enabled um, that was I don't know why it gave me that message because I'm not even trying to connect that. But um, make sure they're enabled. Um, wireless cards, you may see um, the option to enable it. You go through, you enable it. You still don't get a signal. Um, check your physical laptop for a connection. Uh, just a connection, a switch. Uh, usually it's on the right side. Sometimes it's along the front uh, for the wireless card itself. Uh, you can flip the switch on that to turn the card on and off. I have one uh, on this laptop here, and it's actually a keyboard shortcut. Um, if you turn off the physical uh, card itself with the laptop, it doesn't matter what you do in Windows settings, you'll never be able to connect to it until you actually turn it back on. Uh, you can usually tell that by going into your... Start by going under my computer manage and then you'll want to go to device manager and you should not see any uh, red X's any cross either in those and sometimes even up. and my last piece of advice um, would be make sure your firewall settings are correctly set help me do a video on that because every single firewall software is different but um, make sure that your Internet Explorer your Firefox are allowed to go through connect um, very common for those that get blocked and then you can't connect to the Internet but indeed you can um, you can test this out by going to your start menu going to run typing in CMD command and what you want to do here is type in ping google spell google right otherwise it's not going to work dot com and I'll do a quick ping test and you'll see that you are indeed connected to the internet and if you get that but your internet explorer or your firefox can't connect you double check your firewall settings it is possible that your firewall may have uh, gotten corrupt and it's just a matter of uninstalling it, reinstalling it. If that doesn't work, you may actually have a piece of spyware in your system that's preventing that from working as well. So I hope this video has been of some use to you. Um, feel free to leave some comments on uh, other videos you'd like to see in the future. And until next time, I'll see you later.